Hello everybody. I greatly apologize because my phone got cut off during the first part. It said that uh, my phone was running uh, low on storage. So I went through my phone and deleted some things that I really didn't need. And here we are back. This is part two of our dinner. Now, as I said, I've already got the apples in the oven. And just right before I went off, I showed you the marinade that I came up with to uh, go with the pork chops, to marinate the pork chops in. Now, I'm going to use this uh, to uh, cook with, to uh, brush on the pork chops, to, to give the pork chops a, 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 a really good flavor. And I'll talk about that here in a little bit. But once again, what I did before I got cut off, and I apologize because that piece of pork chop fell right here. Uh, but I, it's in the bag. I, I did clean off the, the counter before I uh, before that happened, and I cleaned everything up uh, after it happened. So uh, we're good to go. So what I did was, after I made the, the mixture, I put the uh, pork chops in here, and depending upon the size and the and whatever, that's totally up to you. I don't like thick pork chops. I like mine really, really thin. Uh, and that's about it. Okay? Uh, so what I did was I put these in here in this Ziploc bag, and I just uh, moved them around in the bag, and then put them in the fridge and let them marinate overnight. And I actually took one out this morning before I went to church and uh, cooked it, and it turned out really, really good. So... That's what I'm going to do next. So I want you to meet me at the stove because I'm going to show you uh, how to cook these. All right, everybody, welcome back. There's been a lot of things happening since uh, I paused this. Well, the, the, the tripod that my phone was on, it, it broke, so I'm trying to cook and hold my phone at the same time so you bear with me. Now I'm over here at my stove and I got the last of the pork chops ready to uh, turn over. Now I got this about a medium and if you had a grill you can grill these as well. A uh, couple of minutes per side this is ready to be turned over. You want a good golden brown look like that. You don't want it for a fur. Okay. So that's pretty much it, a couple of minutes per side, uh, and these will be done. Now, the marinade that I just made a few minutes ago, what I did was I brushed it, I brushed some of it onto these pork chops. Now the marinade that, I, that was in that bag, you cannot use that uh, because the raw meat was in there, so you just might as well just go ahead and throw it away once you're through with it. So I want you to stay tuned. Uh, I'm going to make one more dish. Alright everybody, I'm sorry I'm having to sit down on the job. L-O-L. -L. Well anyway, I'll have to figure out uh, where I can get a uh, uh, another tripod to, a thing to, get, to hold up my phone. I know where I can probably get one at. Probably get one online or something. But anyway, supper is ready. My baked apples uh, right here, uh, they fall, they fell apart, but that's okay. Uh, I probably won't put them in the oven as long the next time. My pork chops uh, that I made, they turned out really, really good. I actually ate one, and uh, I'm going to try, I'm going to try to tear one off the side here. I've already said a blessing. Mm, that's good. Very, very tender. And you've seen me make cooked cabbage before. What I did was I took a head of cabbage and I cut it up and let it cook in some chicken broth. Probably not, not a whole lot. Uh, and just add a little bit at a time. I uh, sort of want to brace it until it's really good and crisp, tender. And then uh, let me get the spoon and show you what I put in here. I put these little uh, sausages in here and that's good. And I'm going to try my baked apple. Alright. I 
not been eating off this too. This will go good with some ice cream or some fresh whipped cream. Okay. I'm going to get some of this filling up in here. Um, oh my word. That is good. Alright, I'm going to put this over here. Thanks for watching. Keep those subscribers coming. Have a blessed Sunday afternoon.